Hi everyone, my name is Nadia and in this video I'd like to tell you about Coral Club concept. First of all, I'd like to mention that Coral Club has produced the products over 20 years. That means that Coral Club is a number of step into the future of human's health. Why I'm talking about Coral Club concept? So we know a lot about concept, but why uh, Coral Club? So, um, I definitely know that everyone, every one of us, we take care about our health. We want to be healthy, we want our family to be healthy, our friends and, and, and loved ones. And of course, when we have some kind of diseases, we're trying to get rid of it. But we do some things not really right, and Coral Club has something that we should really know. And that's called Coral Club concept. If you want to know more about this, just please keep watching. So first of all, I'd like to tell you about the thing that probably we know. So our body consists of cells. That's actually the well-known thing. But have you known that we have 10 in 14th degree? Can you imagine how big number is this one? But the size of one cell is 0 0.2500. Can you imagine also, so if we just combine all it, how big number is this one? So let's just, okay, like it's just a small joke, let's imagine that we have kind of a chain and we put the cells into the chains and we wind this around the earth 60 times. Now, can you imagine how big is this? This is just a huge number. And we do not really care about um, so like what we eat, what we drink and why our cells probably sometimes are polluted and so on. Okay, but now let's just move on. With the cells, we have tissues we have nerve tissues we have organic tissues we have connective tissues and of course we do have organs also the well-known things what do we know about organs we have kidneys heart brain and so on but we don't know the details about that right so i also want to mention that we have 12 system like the nerve system digestive system and so on and we when we have kind of a disease we think that something wrong with our system. We're trying to treat it, to heal it, but we do not know that other system might be suffer. Do you want to know how not to do it wrong and how to do it right? So just let's talk about the Coral Club concept. Okay, let's just put on a question that what is actually a disease? That's something that bothers us. And when we have a disease, we cannot concentrate, we cannot focus on some things because it bothers us, we have a pain. Let's just take a simple example. Uh, we have a headache. And what do we usually do? We just cry and I have a headache, I can't do anything, and we go to the doctor. And we say, doctor, please do something. I cannot live with this pain. What the doctors usually do? They do not want to learn this problem like in a global way. They don't want to know the details. They, don't know the, they do not want to know why do you have a headache. All they want to do is just make you happy. They want to give you just the, the painkillers, the medicine or something, because he is happy that, I mean, the, the doctor happy is about that, the patient happy is about that, and that's it. Of course, you're happy because you took the pill, you drink it, and then you feel better. But then probably just it's been a time and you've got some other problems with your health and you do not connect it with the pills that you took for the headache. That's what I was trying to explain. Okay, now let's come back to the cells. The cells need to get the food. That's the well-known fact. Coral Club doesn't make it. We all know that we all need to eat. But sometimes we do not care what we eat. I mean, we care, but we do know not exactly what we eat. So what do we actually need? What our cells need to get uh, in case to be healthy? So there are 22 amino acids, which is really important. Eight of them are unconditional essential the rest of them they can somehow build up but eight of them are essential also we have 50 minerals we have 12 vitamins seven enzymes and we also have three polyurethrated fatty acids and in case to be healthy we must eat i mean like not the fully but in case some of some of them from all of this list. So you can also see it just right here. Okay, let's just come back to this funny picture that you may see with a syringe inside of the apple. You may just have a question, why is the syringe inside of an apple? So I'll explain. So as I told you uh, that we have seven groups of enzymes 
And the ANSYPS also is very important. But why do we have a synergy side of it? Unfortunately, nowadays, the markets, the farmers, they try a little bit to fool us. But it's not their fault. I'll try to explain. Uh, so the fruit and vegetables, they're full of an an ANSYPS, but the problem that they cannot be stored for long. And it's not good for the farmers, or, or for the markets, for the sellers, because they lose their money. And so we think that, uh huh, I see the apple, for example. It, it must be full of enzymes, it must be full of vitamins, but it's not, unfortunately. That means that we should take care of what we eat. We should be very attentive what we eat. Uh, so we think, yeah, this meal, this food is very healthy, it's useful, but it's not. So what can we do? I'll tell you about this a little bit later. Okay, now you may be asking, why do we keep talking about cells? Yeah, so we have systems, for example, but why do we talk about cells? I'd say that the cells have something really, really unusual and important for us. I would say like unbelievable. We have cell division. That means that our cells, they are divided very, very often. And like in three, five years, we can have a brand new organ. So I'd say, yeah, it's just the thousand cells they are Die, the thousands say are newborn. This is just a simple thing, yeah, just that, that happened in our organism. So it's kind of a hope. Like we have a hope if we just, uh, I don't know, suffer from any diseases. And if your cells are divided, but if they're not polluted, if they like healthy and good, that's a hope that you can get a, a brand new organ. So this is very important to know. But besides the cells, what else do we have? Of course, we know that our body consists of water. But how many percent? It's like 70 or 80 percent. For the children and babies, it's even 90 percent. And I'd say this just it's unbelievable. And that's important. What kind of water do we have inside of us? I'd say what kind of quality of water do we have? And now let's talk about that. Okay, so you may see the picture here. You may see the aquarium. I want to compare us with the aquarium and with the fish. Why? So I'll explain. So in this aquarium, you can see the fish. What the fish need for the good living, for example. Yeah, first of all, they need water, but not just uh, water from the puddle, for example. They need a good water. And of course, they need a clean water. So that's why we put filter in the aquarium. And of course, in case to live, they also need food, but also the right food. I'd say the same situation with people. What do we need? We need water, yeah, but a good quality of water. We need our organism being clean because it doesn't make any sense if we just, our organism is full of pollution and we just, we drink water and eat, but nothing happens. Of course not that nothing happens because we are polluted and we also need the right food. But how can we get the right water and the right food? I'll tell you about this now. And these three main things that you might see in the picture. So I'd say water, detox and right nutrition. This is exactly what Curl Club concept is. Now let's talk about every single point but more in details in case to know more about that. So let's start with the water, with the pH level, what actually it is. We have kind of a scale, let's divide it into the, the middle from 0 to 14 and the middle it's 7, like obviously. And yeah, also we have uh, the rate of blood, we can also put it on the scale, the rate of blood of any person, doesn't matter if you're a baby or if you're an adult, if you're like, it doesn't matter what nationality you are, if you're healthy, your uh, blood rate is 743. Now let's just uh, see what do we eat and put us on this scale. And also what do we drink? So yeah, let, let's start with the beverages. Um, for example, we all like soft drinks, the gas drinks, the gas water, for example. This is 2,5 on the scale which is not good. So that means that if you drink that all the time, it's not good. We have also juices. There's juices from the packets, I mean, that, that we buy in the supermarkets, yeah? And they have three, which is also not so good. The, the tea and coffee, it's about five. And the still water, the water from the bottle, the tap water, we have like from seven, from six to seven, sorry. Which is actually not so bad. We also have the food that, that we eat. And unfortunately, we eat more the acidic food. Like for example, we eat something like with the flavor and meat and cheese, yeah, so that's not good. It's like in the percent age, it's we eat 70% of acidic food and 30 of alkaline food, which is not good. 
we better try to eat more alkaline food. Of course, we, we, we cannot just put off the acidic food. It's, it's not real, it, it doesn't work. Of course, we, we eat it sometimes. But we need to, to try to eat more of alkaline food. Yeah. Well, let me ask you a question. What do you like to eat? I bet that you like pizza, like everybody likes pizza. But now let's talk about the ingredients, what is inside of, of the pizza. So if we take just an, a normal pizza, it has flavor, it has cheese, it has meat sometimes, yeah. So this is all the acidic food. And okay, now let's talk about this rate, that, that we have this um, scale. And if we eat pizza, which is full of acid food, that means that we would get five on this scale. I, I wanna let you know that if our blood is seven and one, that, that means it's comma, so that means like we're dead. So that means that if we, I don't know, eat a, just a piece, of, a, a piece of pizza, if we drink Coke, which is two and five, we should die. But I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, nobody eats pizza and just die. It's just, well, yeah, everybody knows it. So what happens in our organism then? What, like, why do we still alive? I'd say that you don't know something really also important about your organism. We have four alkaline minerals. What are they? They are calcium, magnesium, natrium, and potassium. This important alkaline minerals you should get from the food because they just should uh, go directly into your cells, into your blood, but usually we don't do this. So if you take pizza, I don't know if you take it with salad. No, of course. You take it with Coke or Pepsi or something like with the soft drinks. You don't get any alkaline food with, with, with this one. So the organism doesn't get it. That means like, what is, what is calcium? Okay, girls, what is that? It's hair, this is nails, the skin. Yeah, this is our bones. What is magnesium? This is our muscles. Natrium, this is the kidneys. The potassium, our herd. That means that our organs, it's kind of an army, kind of a camp that fighting with this acidic condition in case to give us a chance to live. Now, can you understand how important is that to take care of them, to eat right food, and to uh, pay more attention that our organism is not acidic but more alkaline. And because of that, our organism loses vital alkaline minerals. What does it mean? That means that because of that, we have this civilization diseases. So that's just like the normal thing, right? And of course, the food is important. But what is the most important thing we should know is this is the water and the quality of water that we drink. This is 70 80%. And we need, no, we must drink the right water with the alkaline minerals like this one that I have in my head. Okay, I'd like to add that we have this amazing scientist. His name is Otto Wabuk. And he also has a Nobel Prize, which is like, I don't know. So you, you can read more about this in the internet. What I want to say that he proved that in alkaline condition, the cancer cells cannot live. There are no chances for viruses or for bacteria, not at all. What does it mean? If you drink that water and for example, okay, you just eat the pizza and the Coke, which is acidic food. But if you drink that water every day, that means that your organism just wash it away and it keep going and then your organism still have this alkaline condition and that means you have no risks to have the cancer cells or the bacteria. But let's talk about this later. Okay, now let's look at the presentation here, at the picture. And we have some more information about that, that I would like to share with you. So we see that our cells as I told you, this full of water and the charge of our cells is minus 50, minus 70. And also, there's an interesting fact I'd like to tell you. If there is a baby in uh, the mom's belly, the condition of the belly is minus 150, which is a perfect condition for the baby. When the baby is due to born, it doesn't have this condition anymore. And uh, usually, like mama, the, mom, the mommies, what do you do? They like feed their babies with the milk. And have you know that the milk has a charge of minus 70? That's also a perfect condition for a baby. That means that the baby isn't this in mother's bump. It doesn't have this perfect condition anymore, but it's supposed to have it inside. So it starts with the mother's breast milk. But we should consider doing that, yeah, but we, of course we couldn't, we couldn't drink just the mother's breast milk all our lives, just so of course it's impossible. But we can do also some really good thing. We can drink the right water, but the water with the right charge which I, which I told you. But what kind of water do we drink? 
it's just conditionally not the water that we should drink. The water that we drink from the bottles, uh, their charge of that is, yeah, so you can see their charge of that is plus 200, plus 300. This is a catastrophe. This is like totally what we drink is a catastrophe. What can we do with this one? If, if we drink the water with the coral mine inside of it, for example, we have the water of 200. If you put the coral mine, it becomes more alkaline. It becomes like zero or even more. If you put this in a bottle from plus 200, it becomes zero. If you put it in a glass, for example, it, it becomes even 100 and even sometimes 200. And also the coral club has just amazing product called H minus 500. It makes water even like more, I'd say, energetic. Yeah. So if you drink the coral mine, if you drink the coral water, you have lots of energy, uh, always in a good mood, and so on. But have you ever noticed that when you wake up, you will, you already feel tired? Like by the, I don't know, by the afternoon, you want to sleep, you don't want to do anything, you're lazy, but you didn't do anything special. Just like, why do you do that? Have you know it's just because of the water that you drink? Can you believe it? Just, just the water. Because the water that we drink with a plus 200, plus 300, it takes our energy. But that water, it gives us an energy. That's why I advise you to drink it. By the way, if you think that, okay, I eat perfectly. I eat only like raw vegetables, for example, the fruits, which is acidic food. And I don't need the water because I've got the energy. This is a little bit not right because I'm telling you that you've got the energy from the food only by 10%. Of course, you get some energy from the breathing, but the rest you've got from the water. That's why it's important. Of course, it's good for you. Keep continuing eating good food, but don't forget about the water because the water is 70%, much more than the food that you eat. And okay, you might say that why do I need to buy this uh, coral mines or H minus 500? Okay, so uh, for example, I have the uh, water sources by me, so I can just go, just take the water in the bottle, and that's it. For example, the Japan's this, uh, they have lots of um, clean water sources, but good for the for the Japan's. Okay, let's take other countries, let's take other continents. They do not have this chance to get this right water. And of course, you can uh, fly, you can just go by car or so on, just, just so on to these water sources and just, I don't know, pour the water inside of your bottle and take it with you. But also, that's very hard, it's difficult, it's expensive to do. You can go to the source, but what if the source goes to you, which is easier and better and cheaper? Why do you make your life so complicated? Japan, I mean, their source, the whole Japan, is just, just in one, that small bottle that helps us to keep our body, to keep our health. Okay, now you might think, okay, now I know everything about how, how to keep my health. Yeah, I know everything about food, I know everything about water. That's it. Uh-uh, that's not it. If we come back to the picture with aquarium, what did we have? We have water, we have food, yeah, but we also have the detox, the cleaning. If we drink water, if it's right water, okay, but if our organism is just full of toxins or slugs, that does not work. That means we need to wash it away. How can we do this? Also with, the, with this one, with the water, because I'm telling you that 80% of toxins they all wash away with the water. Okay, the interesting fact that the statistics says that in our organism by 40s, we've got two, four kilos of parasites and five, 15 kilos of slugs. Can you believe how, how much is that? Like, it's it, that's big number, I'd say. And that's why you need to wash it all away. How much do you need to drink? For the adults, you need to drink at least 30 milliliters per one kilo. For the children, it's even more. The children must drink 50 milliliters per kilo. I'd say that we don't do that. We don't drink that much, but we really, really should. We, we must if we want to wash away all of, all of the toxins and all of the parasites and viruses. And okay, now let's talk about uh, from where did we got these toxins, right? So, um, okay, we all uh, pet lovers. We love the dogs, the kittens and so on. We just, I don't know, take care of them as babies. We kiss them. But we do not forget that the, our pets, they actually full of worms. And um, so now, uh, currently, I live in Germany. And in Germany, there's a kind of a rule that you need to give to your pet kind of uh, pills against the worms. 
Um, I don't know if you do this in your country, but Germans, they usually do that. But people, they don't do that. We don't drink any pills or medicine from the worms. Why? That's why it's important to do the uh, anti uh, parasitic programs. That's very important to do. And the Coral Club also has a solution for you. They have all of these programs. Now you can see it here. You can see the names of this. So the first one, um, you can just read um, the supplements that they have that will help you to get rid of it. So you are very lucky because Coral Club has a plenty of them. For example, the first one is the Detox. So also um, we have the so-called Calavada. This is uh, the 14 days long program. This is the, yeah, it takes for two weeks. So you just uh, keep on a diet, you drink some uh, supplements and there's four days you drink a kind of a special shakes that will totally wash away your organisms from all of the slunks, from all of their, um, I don't know, parasites and viruses and so on. So this is really cool for you. The lympho program, so it's also because the, the lymph system, it helps you also to get rid of the bacteria and so on. So also very important to keep it healthy. And when you finally get rid of all of the parasites, when you get rid of the um, of worms yeah, and so on, if you eat the right food, for example, yeah, if you just write eat the right food, but your organ is full of the slunks, full of these parasites and toxins, uh, they will eat it, not your organism, not your cells. They, they, they won't get it directly in the blood because parasites will eat it because they like it. I don't think you want it. I think you want to be healthy. I think you want that your cells get it because you don't work for the parasites, right? You don't want to do this. And that's why it's important first to get the detox cleaning, then you can think about uh, water and think about the right food. Okay, now you've got the detox program, you've got the right water, then we're coming back to the food again. So we know how to make not a good water with a good quality with the coral mine, but what with the food? Yeah, I told you that uh, unfortunately nowadays the quality of food is just not so good, but how can we get it better? Um, the Coral Club has also the wonderful solution for you. Uh, the Coral Club has plenty of supplements and this is also a food. So this is a food that you eat and it directly go swiftly to your cells, to your blood. And isn't that cool? Like that's really awesome. And I can like tell you a lot about with, uh, what kind of supplements do they have and what should you eat and so on. But why am I talking all, all, the, like, all of this video about Coral Club? You might say, yeah, I do drink supplements. I don't need this Coral Club. But do you know what you drink? That's kind of a, okay, it's, it's a bottle with a beautiful cover, like with a beautiful lid and I don't know something. It's just, it, it, it tastes good, it looks good, okay, but you don't know what you drink because it's not certified. Are you sure it's not certified? Because lots of supplements nowadays, they are not certified. Coral Club has hundreds of supplements, 20 of them has, have no elongs. So it's just, you won't find them anywhere, but only in Coral Club. And Coral Club, has GNP certification. I assure you, this is 100 the best guarantee that the quality of the product is brilliant. Yeah, okay, so I can talk hours and hours about how wonderful Coral Club is. Yeah, that's right. But uh, okay, let's just stop on this. And uh, if you wanna know more about that, if you probably wanna do some Coral Club programs, you wanna drink water, if you wanna take care of your health, there is a link below, so just click on this and you will just see like a page with our products and so on. But if you want to have 20% discount, all you need to do is just write me. And yeah, I'll tell you more about that and I'll give you a chance to get this discount. So summing up, I want to wish you good health. Now you know how to keep it right. So don't forget to follow the concept because you now you know everything that you need to know. And if you have more questions, don't be shy to write me an email. And yeah, wishing you all the best. Thank you for watching this. Bye.